Wayne here with Tri County Locksmith Service. Um, today I want to talk about two of the digital deadbolts that are on the market. Um, this is the Schlage version, and this is the Arrow version. This is the Arrow Digital Revolution. This is the Schlage touchscreen deadbolt. Um, both of them have touchscreens. Uh, both of them have a full one-inch deadbolt, and both of them have. Um, uh, some sort of alarm system to set up inside and uh, you know kind of big on the inside but they both run off of four double a batteries um, and this is kind of where the similarities stop um, they both have a, a manual key backup which is always essential with a with a electronic lock but um, the Schlage one has gone quite a bit further and this review right here is just showing these two units as a standalone unit only because um, that's the only way to make it fair. Uh, Schlag does offer this Nexia program, okay? So with this Nexia program, you can actually program this deadbolt to function and operate off of a home security system and use your, your smartphone uh, to see who's coming in who's leaving, you can get text messages when people come and go, when kids come home. Um, you can lock, lock and unlock your lock remotely. You could send a person uh, a code, you can program a code, unprogram a code, uh, delete all users, lock it out. It really offers a ton more. So for deadbolts in the $200 price range, you know, uh, two to 300 bucks, somewhere in there, um, as soon as you sign up for this program, this lock wins, uh, but you do have to pay a yearly fee of about a hundred bucks a year. So to make it fair, this is just going to be on these two standalone units without the extra programs involved. Um, and when we look at the bolt, Arrow offers a hardened pin insert in there, um, and the Schlage does not. They both offer a tapered tapered design to help them line up into their into their slot um, this is a nice feature that arrow does but it's really not that practical I've been a locksmith for a while and I've never seen a deadbolt cut by a saw in half uh, there's just not very much room to do it the only way you'd be able to do that is if you had a, a grinder or something and it's gonna make a big huge mess uh, and it's gonna cut through the hard and stuff anyways so is it a nice feature it, it's fun to say, and it sounds good, but it really doesn't offer that much protection. Um, you're either going to kick the door in or something else uh, to bypass that. So it is an added feature, but it doesn't do very much. Um, the Schlage offers a way to set an alarm if the lock is being tampered with on the inside. So that is a definite benefit over the Revolution. The Revolution only has an alarm of it that goes off if the lock is unplugged or the wires are cut. So you would have to get a lot more damage and a lot more into this one before the alarm's going to go off. This one has a has a vibration uh, sensor. So um, when we check the batteries out, because you will have to replace the batteries, I always recommend you replace batteries once a year, just like your smoke detectors. Um, these are right here on the Schlage, just like that. I think it's a little bit easier to do the ones, to replace the ones on the Revolution. So I'm gonna give the Revolution a nod on easily, easier battery placement, just because you just slide that off and they're right here and you just pop new ones in. Um, so the Revolution gets one there back on. On this side uh, we have the touch screens and um, the Revolution is the only one with an actual real touch screen. It actually is more of a screen like your cell phone um, where it has lights back behind a hard piece of glass. The Schlage is a little I would say cheaper, cheesier kind of uh, it's not like it's not quite the touchscreen that that is. Um, so again, 
the judge based I'm solely expired. on the screen, this one kind of gets the nod. Um, and the other thing is you have to touch this one with your whole hand on the screen. If you just touch one finger, it will not light up. You have to use more than one finger. This one you have to push specifically on the Schlage button. So once we're lit up and ready to go, they both use a nice blue numbering system. Um, you have to hit your number and then the pound sign for the arrow. You have to hit Schlage and then it automatically opens. Now just based on that sound, it sounds like the Schlage has the bigger motor. It sounds like it has a more powerful motor um, and just a better gearing system. So as far as the motor and the gears are concerned, I think the Schlage lock has, uh, wins the nod on that one and not so much on this one. And that's your automatic relocking system on the Arrow Revolution. Uh, that should be um, shut off. I usually like to shut it off. So what we have next is the actual lock itself. Um, Schley has a much more secure system. They incorporate these spool pins like this and um, they really cut down on being able to pick them. So uh, and, and the key bumping as well. Basically when you try to bump key these uh, they tend to catch a lot better. It's not 100% bump proof, but it's really a huge step forward. And it's not 100% pick proof. You can pick these. Uh, it just makes it a whole lot harder, and it makes the criminals just really frustrated and move on to the next one. Um, so as far as the security goes, this one is the only one that actually has a G1 or grade one security feature on it um, and that's because there's you know there's two or three of these inside there and that just makes this a whole lot more secure so on the pure security end this one gets the nod uh, definitely because no matter what if you pick the lock it opens uh, that's that's kind of the downfall of a mechanical key system but it is always good, a good idea to have the mechanical key backup because electronics can fail. So um, the other thing that I like about the arrow is that uh, this rubber seal right here. Uh, the Schlage didn't do that, and I don't know why, but you could definitely see right around the edges where there's space and moisture, snow, rain, all that stuff could definitely get back in there. That's going to be... Uh, one of those things we'll have to wait and see how they hold up. Um, I haven't had any problems with the Aero Revolution getting moisture in there because of this. I really wish Schlage would have taken taken the the idea here and, and put some sort of rubber backing. I mean, if you install this, I guess you could put some sort of silicone around there, but it's probably not going to be the prettiest the prettiest thing to do. Um, so, as far as weather related. Um, Arrow is going to get the nod on that one. Um, as far as ease and, and maneuverability, you know, they both feel about the same. They both work about the same. They're, they're both just as visible. They both use a nice blue lighting. Um, at the end of the day, what lock am I going to put on my house? I'm probably going to go with the Schlage. Uh, I was using this system for a while because it came out before this one, but I'm probably going to switch. Uh, just because of the security pins in this one, uh, the more powerful motor, and um, it, it just schlegs just a little bit better in my mind. When I take these apart, there's just more tolerances in here. Everything's a lot tighter with Schlage. It ju they just make um, a better product as far as I'm concerned. I just wish they would have made a really nice touch screen like this, and I wish that they would have done the rubber seal. Um, if they'd have done that, then they'd have a far superior product. But right now, they both have pros and cons. So um, that's my take on it. I install these. I uh, use them on my house. Um, so I'm very familiar with the newest and latest and greatest coming out. And um, 
That's that's my opinion. The only other thing that the arrow has going for it is it does walk you through the setup steps, uh, and the Schlage does not. So um, ease of setup probably going to be a little bit easier here too. That's another thing Schlage. I wish they would have done is is this system really guides you through and tells you what you're doing and what's going on and how you're programming as you go through the programming of a lock. And you can see that on another video uh, that I do where I actually go through and do the programming for these. So thank you very much. I hope that helped.